Hello students, welcome to Affairs Cloud. My name is Vikas. We have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through Play Store. Once you have downloaded the application, you will be able to easily log in using your Gmail ID. Once you have logged in, you will be redirected to this page where you will be getting this UI and there will be option for home, all courses, my courses and doubt section. On this application, you will be getting multiple PDFs, multiple content on daily basis that will be enhancing your learning. Our first segment is daily current affairs. We make sure to provide you current affairs on daily basis in both English as well as in Hindi content. The PDFs for the same are uploaded on our application. And apart from this, we also make sure to provide you with quizzes that will help you to revise the content after you have gone through the PDF. Next comes our weekly content. The content is also provided in both English as well as in Hindi. And here we also make sure to provide you quiz also of that past week's current affairs that will be enhancing your learning as it is a compilation of the important topics, important MCQ questions for the last week. Similar for the monthly, the PDFs are very important. They provide you insights of various topics as well as we also make sure to provide you the quiz of monthly questions that are very important for learning. Next, we also provide you with important PIB articles on daily basis so that you can go through these particles and have an insight about that particular topic. Not just this, we also make sure to provide you important events that are happening globally and make sure to give you the right analysis. One of the most important segment of our application is that we make sure to provide you with the correct exam analysis. When you are having exam, we make sure to provide you with the previous year questions so that the student can go through the exam pattern and the syllabus and can prepare the exam accordingly based on the pattern. After the exam, we also make sure to provide you with the exam analysis. Then for the students who are preparing for state exams, they will be also beneficial here as we will make sure to provide with state wise current affairs for them. Apart from this, we also make sure to cover the topic wise current affairs such as your national affairs, government schemes, international affairs, banking and finance, economy and businesses as these are the topics from which the examiner definitely asks the question and these are covered on the monthly basis. So friends, do check our application. It will be a one stop solution for learning. Apart from this friends, Carrier Scout is hiring. We are looking for candidates for subject matter experts in quants reasoning and English and also we are looking for a content creator for current affairs topic on daily basis, weekly basis and monthly basis. There is also an opening for a person who can translate the English content into Hindi. If you want to apply, you can scan the code here for further details or you can go to the description and click the link below. These positions are available both in full time and freelance for serious candidates. Hello everyone, so in this video we will be discussing important current affairs for the second week of April month. Let's start. First question is, as of April 2024, India aims to produce 100 gigawatt of nuclear power by dash year. So, so the year by 2047, India aims to produce 100 gigawatt of nuclear power. Right, take a note of this. Next, in April, Technology Development Board that is TDB entered into an agreement with Remind India Private Limited to establish a commercial plant for recycling lithium ion batteries and e-waste in which city? It will be in Sitarganj district of Uttar Pradesh, uh, Sitarganj district of Uttarakhand. Right option is option 3. Right, the cost of this project will be 15 crore rupees. Right and it is tdb that is technology development board correct that comes under the departments of science and technology correct and they have partnered with remind india private limited to establish a commercial recycling plant recycling plant that will be for lithium ion batteries next which currency was introduced by Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe to replace their local currency Zimbabwe dollar? Correct. That is your ZIG. This Zimbabwe gold, this is a gold backed currency. This was launched by Zimbabwe, uh, Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe recently and it is to replace 
जिम्बाबे डॉलर आर टी जी एस डॉलर करेक्ट टेक अ नोट ऑफ दिस एंड रिमेंबर दैट दीज जिम्बाबे डॉलर और दीज जिम्बाबे गोल्ड करेंसी विल बी स्टार्टिंग इन टू सर्कुलेशन ऑफ द इकोनॉमी फ्रॉम थर्टी एथ ऑफ अप्रैल थर्टी एथ ऑफ अप्रैल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर नेक्स्ट विच कंपनी हैज रिसेंटली पार्टनर्ड विद सिड बी टू ऑफर माइक्रो लॉन्च फॉर द गिग वर्कर्स सो विच इज दैट इट इज अनियन प्राइवेट अनियन लाइफ प्राइवेट लिमिटेड राइट दे हैव पार्टनर्ड विद सिड बी एंड इट इज टू ऑफर लोन्स माइक्रो लोन्स टू द गिग वर्कर्स राइट टेक अ नोट ऑफ दिस एंड दिस विल एनहेंस द फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन इन इंडिया गिग इकोनॉमी नेक्स्ट विच कंपनी हैज रिसेंटली लॉन्च सिक्स इंडेक फंड विद मिनिमम इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑफ फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज ड्यूरिंग द एन एफ ओ पीरियड इट इज टाटा म्यूचुअल फंड राइट टाटा म्यूचुअल फंड हैव लॉन्च सिक्स इंडेक्स फंड विद अ मिनिमम इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑफ फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज ड्यूरिंग द एन एफ ओ पीरियड राइट टेक अ नोट ऑफ दिस नेक्स्ट हु वन द प्रेजिडेंशियल इलेक्शन ऑफ स्लोवैक रिपब्लिक इन अप्रैल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर राइट ही वन द प्रेजिडेंट इलेक्शन ऑफ द स्लोवैक रिपब्लिक और वी कैन से ही वॉज द फॉर्मर प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्लोवाकिया हु हैज बीन नाउ अपॉइंटेड एज द प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ स्लोवाकिया करेक्ट एंड पीटर पेलेग्रीनी ही विल सक्सीड होम ही विल बी सक्सीडिंग जुजाना कैपुतो करेक्ट शी बिकेम द फर्स्ट फीमेल प्राइम फर्स्ट फीमेल प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ स्लोवाकिया नेक्स्ट इन अप्रैल डैश बिकेम द फर्स्ट वीमेन फ्रॉम इंडिया टू सर्व एज अ जरी मेंबर एट द ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर ओलंपिक समर ओलंपिक गेम्स दैट विल बी हेल्ड इन पेरिस सो हु इज दैट फर्स्ट वीमेन फ्रॉम इंडिया टू सर्व एज द जूरी मेंबर एट द ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर ओलंपिक गेम्स बिल्किस मीर राइट अ वॉटर स्पोर्ट्स प्रोमोटर एंड एथलीस्ट शी वॉज अ कैनोइस्ट राइट एंड शी इज फ्रॉम जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एंड शी सेट टू बिकम द फर्स्ट वीमेन फ्रॉम इंडिया टू सर्व एज अ जूरी मेंबर एट द ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर समर ओलंपिक गेम्स दैट विल बी हेल्ड इन पेरिस नेक्स्ट विच कंपनी हैज रिसेंटली लॉन्च बैंड वैगन वन द फर्स्ट राइट शेयर मिशन टू लो अर्थ ऑर्बिट विद द फेल्कन नाइन रॉकेट फ्रॉम फ्लोरिडा यूएसए इट इज स्पेस एक्सप्लोरेशन टेक्नोलॉजी कॉरपोरेशन राइट दैट इज योर स्पेस एक्स करेक्ट सो स्पेस एक्स दे हैव लॉन्च दिस बैंड वैगन वन द फर्स्ट राइट शेयर मिशन टू लो अर्थ ऑर्बिट Correct. It was launched using Falcon 9 rocket. This band wagon one carried 11 satellites. Right. Take a note of this. And here, remember, four to five project. This is the satellite that is of South Korea, and it is one of the largest of the 11 satellites that was carried by band wagon one. Next. Who won the F1 Japanese Grand Prix held in Japan in April 2024? It is he will be Max Verstappen. He is a Belgian Dutch driver. He drives for Red Bull, correct? And he is the person or driver who has won this Japanese Grand Prix. Or we can say this was held where? It was held at Suzuka International Racing Course. that is in japan it was from 5th to 7th of april then red bulls another driver sergio perez who is of mexico he secured second position and ferraris ferraris uh carlos sainz he secured the third position and carlos sainz is from spain next 
which bank has recently provided 2675 crore rupees debt facility to tata steel for a term of 3 years which is that bank it is icici bank right icici bank they provided 2675 crore rupees debt facility to tata steel for a term of 3 years moving on in which iit the exper experimental license module for 100 5g labs was launched in april so it was in which iit it is in iit madras right in iit madras experimental license module for 100 5g lab that is fifth generation lab was docked was virtually launched and it was launched by whom dr neeraj mittal who is the secretary of the department of telecommunication right and it is at iit madras in chennai tamil nadu the aim of this 100 5g lab is to basically simplify the process for experiential learning right for the academic institutions and this will foster skill and development and encourage students to take startup communities in 5g technology right so that more and more new technologies research and development usage or use cases of this 5g technology will be developed moving on according to the provincial government data by the ministry of steels joint plant committee in april india imported dash million tons of finished steel in fy24 so india imported 8.319 million tons of finished steel in fy24 correct take a note of this then the steel consumption in india jumped by 13.4% to 136 million tons in fy24 and the finished steel consumption on in, in india is also increased by 13.4% to 135.95 million tons correct next and india aims to increase the annual steel production capacity to 300 million tons moving on In April, Ministry of External Affairs approved a proposal for India Ports Global Limited to take over the operations of Sitwe Port in Rakhin in which country? So this India, or we can say Ministry of External Affairs, they have approved the proposal for India Ports Global Limited so that they can take over the operations of the Sitwe Port in Rakhin that is located in Myanmar, right? And it will be the second foreign port that will be operated by India. the first port is in iran that is chabahar port right and now this sitwe port will be the second port that will be operated by india outside india next according to the sixth edition of the global unicorn index 24 report published by huron institute in april india ranked dash at which position in the index with 67 unicorns while dash has topped the position with 703 unicorns so according to the 6th edition of the global unicorn index report published by huron institute india ranked third in this position so what is the rank of india india is at third position and who secured the top position with 703 unicorns so it is united states of america that secured the first position with 7703 unicorns whereas in india there was 6367 unicorns right take a note of this so this was the sixth edition of global unicorn index published by huron institute india's rank is third uh, third and there was 67 unicorns and in usa there were a total of 703 unicorns next which country became has been recently selected as the united nation commission on status of women to chair the 69th session in 2025 it is saudi arabia right saudi arabia has been selected as the united nations commission on status of women to chair the 69th session in 2025 next according to the data released by the general insurance council in april 2024 the general insurance industry experienced a growth of dash in the financial year 24 so the general insurance company or the general insurance industry basically they experienced a growth of growth of 12.78% in the financial year 24
नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज हु हैज़ रिसेंटली वन द वाओ वर्ल्ड लिटरेरी प्राइज फ्रॉम द वर्ल्ड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ राइटर्स इट इज ममता जी सागर राइट ममता जी सागर हैज वन द वाओ वर्ल्ड लिटरेरी प्राइज फ्रॉम द वर्ल्ड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ राइटर्स राइट एंड दिस वॉज फॉर हर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इन द वर्ल्ड ऑफ लिटरेचर करेक्ट टेक अ नोट ऑफ दिस and the award ceremony was the part of the 7th world literary festival that was held in nigeria that was from 4 to 6th of april next which of the following space agencies have recently received the john l jack swigger junior award for space exploration it is isro that is indian space research organization right so isro has recently received john l jack swigger junior award for space exploration next who has been recently appointed as the full time member of the 16th finance commission of india so among them remember manoj panda ji has been appointed as the full time member of the 16th finance commission right and take a note of this this is important and he will be holding this position till 31st of october 2025 next who has been recently named as the international event ambassador for the 16th edition of tata consultancy service world 10k bengaluru karnataka so dame valerie adams of new zealand has been recently named as the international event ambassador for the 16th edition of the TCS World 10K Bangalore Karnataka she has also won remember the silver in 2016 summer olympic games in rio de janeiro brazil and bronze medal in 2020 summer olympics of tokyo also she became the first women to win four consecutive gold medals in the world athletics championship correct dame valerie adams of new zealand and she has been appointed as the international event ambassador next indian army acquired the first batch of 24 igla s portable air defense system along with 100 missiles from dash country so indian army they acquired the first batch of 24 igla s man portable air defense system along with missiles from which country from russia right and this will enhance the indian army's capability for very short range air defense system next which company has recently launched three black brand nine sounding rocket from the atmospheric perturbations around eclipse path mission that is apap apep mission so which company has launched it it is nasa right nasa has launched three black brand nine sounding rocket for the apep mission take a note of this and the aim of this mission is to study the disturbances in the ionosphere to study the disturbances in ionosphere right and this was specifically during the solar eclipse that took place right so during that solar eclipse what were the disturbances in the ionosphere to study that to observe that this three blank brand nine sounding rockets were launched next in which state or ut indian coast guard aquatic center was inaugurated by indian coast guard director rakesh pal in april so this indian coast guard aquatic center was inaugurated by indian coast guard director rakesh pal it was in tamil nadu it is in tamil nadu right next who authored the book why we die the new science of aging and the quest for immortality this book was authored by venki rama krishnan i repeat venki rama krishnan authored the book why we die the new science of aging and the quest for mortality right and in venki rama krishnan in 2009 he was honored with nobel prize in chemistry next international organization has recently 
launched an expression of interest with India to promote the startup collaboration on the recycling of electric vehicle batteries. It is European Union, right? So it is European Union that has launched an EOI with India to promote the collaboration on the recycling of electric vehicle batteries in India. Correct. Next, which organization or NGO has recently initiated five year collaboration with the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare to improve the CGHS ecosystem? CGHS is basically a scheme that provides health scheme or health services to the central government employees. Right. So which is that organization? It is Quality Council of India QCI. They have partnered with Ministry of Health and Family Welfare in order to provide better ecosystem in order to improve the ecosystem of the CGHS scheme. Correct. Take a note of this and this collaboration will be for how many years for five years. Next, according to the Global Hepatitis Report 2024, action for access in low and middle income countries that is released by World Health Organization in April, DASH becomes the second most dangerous disease causing more death after tuberculosis. So first is your TB and what is the second? It is hepatitis, right? So this report was released by WHO, correct? And in this report, they stated that tuberculosis is the most dangerous disease causing death and after tuberculosis it is hepatitis and this is the first consolidated WHO report on hepatitis cases correct next who has been recently elected as the prime minister of republic of ireland so simon harris simon harris who is 37 years of age correct and he is the leader of the fine gail party he was elected as the new prime minister of the Republic of Ireland. Correct. Take a note of this. He will succeed. Simon Harris will be succeeding whom? He will be succeeding Leo Varadkar. And remember, he became the youngest prime minister of Ireland. Right. Next is which international organization has re-elected Jagjit Pavadia as the member for the third term? Each term is for five years, right? And first it was from 2015 to 2020, then 2020 to 2025, correct? And remember this, right? Now, she has been again elected as the term for 2025 till 2029. Take a note of this. Right, that is 2015 to 2020, 2021 to 2025, then 2025 to 2029. This will be the third term. She is whom? Jagjit Pavadia and of which board? That is International Narcotics Control Board of INCB. Right. So India's Jagjit Pavadia has been re-elected and she previously served first term from 2015 to 20, second term from 2021 to 2025 and third term is from 2025 to 2029. Next, who has been recently appointed as the chair of US India Tax Forum of the US India Strategic Partnership Forum? So, Tarun Bajaj, right? Tarun Bajaj, our former Revenue and Economic Affairs Secretary, right, have, was appointed as the chair of the US India Tax Forum of the US India Strategic Partnership Forum. He is also serving as the independent director on the board of Hindustan Unilever Limited since December 2023. Next, name India's first private sector built sub-meter resolution earth observation satellite that has been recently launched by Tata Advanced Systems Limited. It is TSET 1A. Right, this is the India's first private sector built sub-meter resolution earth observation satellite that has been launched by Tata Advanced Systems Limited. Correct. And it was one of the 11 satellites that was launched or that was a part of bandwagon one launched by SpaceX using their Falcon 9 mission. Next, next is in April, British physicist and Nobel Prize awardee Peter Higgs passed away. In which year did he receive the Nobel Prize in the physics? So he received Peter Higgs received Nobel Prize in physics in the year 2013. Correct. Take a note of this. Apart from this, he has also won the world's oldest scientific prize that is 
रॉयल सोसाइटीज कॉपले मेडल राइट एंड दिस वॉज फॉर इज वर्क ऑन द गॉड पार्टिकल नेक्स्ट द एल नीनो इज अ क्लाइमेट पैटर्न दैट डिस्क्राइब्स द अनयूजल वार्निंग ऑफ सरफेस वॉटर्स इन डैश सो एल नीनो दिस इज अ क्लाइमेट पैटर्न दैट डिस्क्राइब्स द अनयूजल वार्मिंग ऑफ द सरफेस वॉटर्स इन द पैसेफिक ओशन राइट द अनयूजल वार्मिंग इन द पैसेफिक ओशन दिस इज नोन एज एल नीनो एल नीनो इवेंट अकर्स इेगुलरली एट टू टू सेवन ईयर्स इंटरवल एंड एल नीनो इज नॉट अ रेगुलर साइकिल और प्रिडिक्टेबल इन द सेंस दैट ओशन टाइट्स आर Next, according to the Global Trade Outlook and Statistics of April 2024 report released by World Trade Organization in April, the global merchandise trade volume is projected to grow by how much in 2024? So, the global merchandise trade volume is projected to grow by 2.6 percent in 2024. Correct, and 3.3 percent in 2025. Correct as the demand for the traded goods are rebounding after the contraction in 2023, and India clocked. If we talk about India, India clocked 451 billion dollars of goods exported in FY23, and 394.99 in April to Feb in FY24. Next, as per the Asian Development Outlook of April twenty four, released by the Asian Development Bank, India's GDP growth forecast for FY twenty four raised to dash percent from six point seven percent. So it has been raised to seven percent. That was earlier six point seven percent as per the Asian Development Bank's GDP growth forecast. Next. National Investment and Infrastructure Fund Limited invested dash amount in IBUS Network and Infrastructure Private Limited to support the growth of digital infrastructure in India. So NIIF that is National Investment and Infrastructure Fund Limited invested 200 million dollar in IBUS Network and Infrastructure Private Limited to support the growth of digital infrastructure in India. Here NIIF will hold a significant majority stake in IBUS after the completion of the transaction and the investment is in line with India's Digital India mission that was made through NIIF's master fund. Next, which company has recently partnered with e-seva and hotel association of Nepal Pokhara to promote digital payments through UPI on Nepal payment processor phone pay network. So which is it? It is फोन पे करेक्ट दे हैव रिसेंटली पार्टनर्ड विद ई सेवा ई सेवा एंड एच ए एन दैट इज होटल एसोसिएशन ऑफ नेपाल इन पोखारा एंड इट इज टू प्रमोट द यूसेज ऑफ यू पी आई इन नेपाल एंड द नेपाल हेयर विल बी इन द नेपाल द नेटवर्क दे विल बी यूजिंग इज फोन पे नेटवर्क करेक्ट एफ ओ एन ई पी ए वाई and here in india from uh, from indian company that is phone pay phone pay this is a fintech company that is based out of bengaluru karnataka correct and they have partnered with e seva and han that is hotel association of nepal and it is to increase the usage of upi they are using their nepal's payment processor phone pay network next who has been recently recommended for the post of the chairman and managing director in sidb by financial service institutions bureau that is fsib so manoj mittal right has been recommended for the post of chairman and managing director in sidb by financial services institutions bureau he is currently serving as the md and ceo of ifci limited and he will replace shiva subramanyam raman who will be serving as the chairman and managing director who has been serving as the cmd of sidb since 2021 Next, which company has recently received the approval from Securities and Exchange Board of India for a change of control in Reliance Wealth Management Limited? It is Asia Enterprises, right? Has received the approval from SEB for a change of control in Reliance Wealth Management Limited. 
Next, in April, Dash became the first private sector lender to open a branch in Kavarati Island of Lakshadweep. It is HDFC Bank, right? It became the first private sector lender to operate a branch in Kavarati Island of Lakshadweep. Right, this bank seeks to serve customers whenever, wherever they are, and looks forward to serving the financial needs of individuals, families, and businesses in Lakshadweep. Next, which space company has recently backed the first order from ISRO for the supply of its cutting-edge quadcopter drones? It is Garuda Aerospace. Right, Garuda Aerospace recently backed the first order from ISRO. And it is for the supply of their cutting edge quadcopter drones. Quad copter drones. Right? Take a note of this. These quadcopter drones they are equipped with machine learning, artificial intelligence, right? And so on. So it is Garuda Aerospace. Next, name the company that has recently launched the latest edition of the Girl Empowerment Mission, that is GEM. So which is that company? It is NTPC Limited, right? They have launched the latest edition of GEM that is Girl Empowerment Mission. This is a corporate social responsibility initiative of NTPC that is National Thermal Power Corporation. And this new initiative or the latest edition of GEM, this will add around 3000 underprivileged children at 42 locations of NTPC. And with this mission, it is expected that the benefit will be expanding to a total of 10,000 girls. Next, according to Moody's analytics report, APAC outlook listening through the noise released in April 2023, India's GDP is expected to decrease to dash in 2024 from 7.7% growth recorded in 2023. So it is expected to decrease to 6.1% growth in 2024. This is according to the Moody's report that is APAC, that is Asia Pacific Outlook listening through the noise. Right. Also, the report suggested in the Asia Pacific region will show a growth of 3.8% in 2024. Even it is stated that in India, the CPI data, that is the inflation data, will be close to 5% and the target of RBI is 2% to 6 percent that means according to rbi the inflation should be between 2 to 6 percent next who has been recently declared as the recipient of the 2023 acm am turing award that is the nobel prize of computing so avi Vigderson of israel right he has been awarded with the nobel prize of computing that is also known as acm am turing award right for his contribution in the field of computing in the field of computation and mathematics he was awarded with this nobel prize of computing and this award carries a cash prize of 1 million dollar too so avi vigderson of israel has been honored with this nobel prize of computation or nobel prize of computing next name the personalities from india who has been recently appointed as the member of university grant commission for three years for UGC who has been appointed as the new member recently so remember new personalities from India who have been appointed as the members of UGC they are Ashish Kumar Chohan and Sridhar Vembu both of them have been appointed as the members of UGC for a period of three years next up one more thing apart from this two more members right that is retired professor Sachaninda Mohati, who is the former Vice Chancellor of the University of Odisha, was also appointed. And Professor Shashikala Gulabrao Vanjaria was also appointed a member for three years. So, total of four members has been appointed. Ashish Kumar Chohan, Sridhar Vembu, Sachaninda Mohati and Professor Shashikala Gulabrao Vanjari. So, they are the four members appointed to the member of UGC for a period of three years. Next, Wo Thi and Zuan was appointed as the interim president of Dash country. So she has been appointed as the president of Vietnam. Correct? Take a note of this. Next. Next is who has been recently appointed as the prime minister of Iceland. So Jarni Benediction has been appointed as the prime minister of Iceland. Right? Take a note of this. Next. 
with space agency recently launched the first angara a5 space rocket so this angara a5 space rocket was launched by the space agency of russia and what it is known as roscosmos they have launched this and it was launched from the russia only this will replace the proton m as russia's heavy lift rocket correct and this angara 5 this was basically a 54 point 5 meter 3 stage heavy lift rocket that can weigh or that can carry up to 773 tons of uh, this is the weight actually not the payload capacity but the weight of this angara a5 rocket and it has a capacity to carry up to 24.5 tons of the weight next which of the following badminton players who have recently won the men's and women's single title at kazakhstan international challenge 2024 it is tharun mannepalli and anup anupma upadhyay i repeat tharun mannepalli and anupma upadhyay right they have recently won the men's and women's single title at the kazakhstan international challenge held in 2024 in kazakhstan right take a note of this next next is in april dipendra singh airi from dash country became the third batter to hit sixes in an over in the acc men's t20 international premier cup clash against qatar so dipendra singh airi from nepal right he became the third batsman to hit six sixes in a particular over right he joined kiran pollard and yuvraj singh correct and now the third person is dipendra singh airi correct who have hit six sixes in a single over next according to the global forest watch monitoring project data released in april 2024 india has lost how much hectares of the tree cover since the year 2000 so india has lost a 2.33 million hectares of tree cover since the 2000 right and assam assam state saw the most tree cover lost it saw the most tree cover area lost right and as of now currently it is arunachal pradesh that has the most tree cover area that is 6.11 million hectares of area next according to the traction geo quarterly report released by traction in april 24 indian fintech startup raised 550.8 50, million across 33 deals in the first quarter of calendar year 24 marking a dash increase from the fourth quarter of 2023 that means it marks an increase of 59% as compared to that of the year fourth quarter of 2023 right so here you can see india Indian fintech startups they have raised 550.8 million dollars and this is across 33 deals right this is in the first quarter of fiscal year 24 marking an increase of 59% as compared to the last year we know that the startup funding is a little bit less nowadays but it is getting on track and india is ranked third in terms of fintech funding this is behind usa and china then it is now our india right what is fintech funding fintech funding is basically when fintech companies provide loans to the budding startups who likes to grow in a particular sector next which international organization has recently reappointed kristalina georgieva kristalina georgieva as the managing director for the second five year term so it is international monetary fund they have reappointed kristalina georgieva as the managing director for second term that will be a 5 year term next next is in april drdo and indian army they successfully conducted the fly test of man portable anti tank guided missile weapon system at which state it will be at jaisalmer rajasthan right so it was drdo that is they have conducted this fly test along with indian army correct and it is to test the man portable anti tank guided missile weapon system in the state of jaisalmer rajasthan next 
Jonathan Christie from Dash Country won the men's single title and Chinese badminton player Dash won the women's single title at the Badminton Asia Championship 2024. So Jonathan Christie from Indonesia, he won the men's single title and Chinese badminton player Wang Ziyi. Wang Ziyi has won the women's single title at the Badminton Asia Championship 2024. And Wang Ziyi, remember, she's a world number nine chess a uh, world number nine chinese player or we can say world number nine women's player correct badminton player she's ranked at world number nine next in march lnt finance holdings limited signed a loan agreement with jika that is japan international corporation agency for dash amount to improve the financial access in india's lagging states so lnt finance holding limited they sign a loan agreement with jika for 125 million dollar improve for improving the financial access india in india's lagging states right the project was arranged by asian development bank and the lagging states here include 10 states of india such as assam bihar chhattisgarh jharkhand madhya pradesh odisha rajasthan tripura up and west bengal correct and these are the states with the poverty rates above 10 percent these are the lagging states next who has recently won the Miss World 2024 title at the 71st Miss World pageant. So, Christina Sizova. Christina Sizova has of Czech Republic has won the Miss World 2024 title and it was during the 71st Miss World pageant. Correct. Where was this 71st Miss World pageant held? This was held at Geo World Convention Center. Where is it? It is in Mumbai, Maharashtra. Correct. Next. Next is during the RBI's Financial Literacy Week, here RBI launched the Financial Literacy Ideathon for postgraduate students currently, currently enrolled in the recognized educational institutions. Question asked is, what is the theme of the FLW, that is Financial Literacy Week 24, which is being observed from 26th of Feb to 1st of March 2024. So, theme is being asked to here. What is the theme? Make a right start, become financially smart. This is the theme for the financial literacy week right and financial literacy week is being observed from 26th of feb till 1st of march this question can be also also asked that till which dates we are observing this financial literacy week and during this our financial literacy idathon was organized for postgraduate students Next, according to the 12th edition of the International Intellectual Property Index released by US Chamber, Co Chamber of Commerce in Feb, India has retained which position? India retained the 42nd position in with an overall score of 38.64%. Whereas in this index of the International Intellectual Property Index, USA, they secured the first position. So right option here becomes option 2. Next, who has recently became the first Indian citizen to be conferred with the title of the Knight Commander of the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire under King Charles III reign. So, Sunil Bharti Mittal, right? He became the first Indian citizen to be conferred with the Knight Commander of the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire under the King Charles III and this was for his contribution for the service to the United Kingdom and India business relation that means to enhance the relation between india and to enhance the business relations between india and uk next drdo successfully conducted the flight test of very short range air defense system missile a man portable air defense system month pass and where drdo successfully conducted the flight test of this very short range air defense system missile it was in chandipur odisha it was in chandipur odisha Next, next is in Feb, RBI, they revised the regulatory framework for Bharat Bill Pay payment system based on a review of developments in the payment landscape. The revised directions called RBI BBPS directions 2024 will be applicable from which date? They will be applicable from 1st of April 2024. Next is which Indian athletes bronze medal won during the women's 400 meter sprint event at the Asian Athletics Championship 2023 is said to be upgraded to silver medal after the original silver medalist Farida Solieva of Uzbekistan failed a dope test. So Indian player she was 
she was winning bronze medal but she was upgraded to silver medal because the person who won the silver medal failed a dope test and the person who failed this was farida solivia she was of uzbekistan and now indian athlete what is her name ashwarya mishra earlier she won bronze medal now but she has been upgraded to your silver medal from bronze to silver she has been upgraded next as of 8th of april which indian state has highest number of registered voters that is 13 lakh in the age group of 85 years and above so it is maharashtra that has the highest number of registered voters that is 13 lakh in the age group of 185 years of above age correct then according to this data remember up uttar pradesh has 10.4 lakh registered voters in the same group while bihar has 6.6 lakh and nationally there are a total of 81 lakh voters above the age of 85 right here maharashtra shares comprise to be around 16% with 13 lakh population above 18 5 years of age with registered voters next which stadium has recently became the first bcci accredited venue to install a state of the art hybrid pitch so it is himachal pradesh cricket association stadium correct has became the first board of bcci accredited venue to install the state art of hybrid pitch where future international and ipl matches will be held on this track correct next who has been recently appointed as the brand ambassador of space india so sanjana singh sanjana sanghi right she has been appointed as the brand ambassador of space india sanjana sanghi she is a rising young bollywood star and united nation development program youth champion correct and this space this initiative is of isro it is basically to encourage the youngsters to come and work towards in the field of space sector right so friends these were your important current affairs for the week 2 of april month now let's move to some revision current affairs they will be very beneficial for your learning next according to the 10th edition of women business and law 2024 report released by world bank group in march india has climbed to dash place out of 190 countries in the index so according to the 10th edition of the women business law report released by world bank india has climbed to 113th position out of 190 countries in this index and the index shows that the women enjoys just 60% of the legal rights that are granted to man and if we talk about the globally the global average here is 64.2 that means if 100% rights are enjoyed by men women are enjoying just 60% in india and globally it is 64.2% next in which state union minister of steel jyoti raditya sindhya has recently inaugurated india's first green hydrogen plant in stainless steel sector so it is the state of haryana right in haryana jyoti raditya sindhya has recently inaugurated india's first green hydrogen plant in stainless steel sector next name the indian naval ship that was recently commissioned by indian navy at minikoy the southernmost island of lakshadweep so what is the name of that ins it is ins jatayu right this was the indian naval ship commissioned by indian navy at minikon island in the southernmost island in lakshadweep and it was commissioned by admiral r hari kumar who is our chief of naval staff next next is panama it became the dash member of international solar alliance international solar alliance headquarter is in gurugram haryana project director here is ajay mathur right and 97th country to join international solar alliance is panama right take a note of this and also remember this became the 97th country to join it and 119th country or signatory country that they are in position or there is a chance that they can join it it is your malta next name the bank that recently launched india's first contactless payment wearable so it is indusind bank right they have recently launched india's first contactless payment wearable take a note of this and the name of this contactless pay uh, contactless payment wearable is indus pay wear correct launched by indusind bank 
नेक्स्ट इन मार्च सिडबी दे हैव रिसीव द ग्रीन क्लाइमेट फंड्स अप्रूवल फॉर देयर फर्स्ट एंकर्ड प्रोजेक्ट दैट इज द अवाना सस्टेनेबिलिटी फंड दैट वॉज वैल्यूड एट हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी मिलियन डॉलर आई रिपीट सिडबी दे सिक्योर द अप्रूवल फ्रॉम द ग्रीन क्लाइमेट फंड फॉर देयर फर्स्ट एंकर्ड प्रोजेक्ट दैट इज द अवाना सस्टेनेबिलिटी फंड दैट इज वैल्यूड एट हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी मिलियन डॉलर नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज हु हैज रिसेंटली स्वॉन इन एज द फोर्टीन प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ द इस्लामिक रिपब्लिक ऑफ पाकिस्तान फॉर द सेकेंड टाइम सो आसिफ अली जरदारी ही हैज बीन रिसेंटली स्वॉन इन एज द फोर्टीन प्रेजिडेंट फोर्टीन प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ द इस्लामिक रिपब्लिक ऑफ पाकिस्तान एंड दैट इज फॉर द सेकेंड टाइम प्रीवियसली ही सर्व एज द इलेवेंथ प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ पाकिस्तान फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड एट टू टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन Correct and now he is the fourteenth president of Pakistan. Next, which of the following Indian badminton players have recently won the men's double title at the finals of the Yonex French Open held in Paris, France? So, Swastik Sai Raj Ranik Reddy and Chirag Sethi. These are the two Indian badminton players who have recently won the men's double title at the finals of the Yonex French Open twenty twenty four held in Paris, France. Right? Who won the men's singles title? It was won by Shi Yu Qi of China. Who won the women's single title? It was won by Ann C Young. She's of South Korea. Correct. And we have seen men's double won by Swastik Sai Raj Ranik Reddy and Chirag Sethi. Swastik Sai Raj Ranik Reddy and Chirag Sethi. Next, according to Department of Economic Affairs. Ministry of Finance data released in March twenty four. One year time deposit, one year time deposit scheme has remained unchanged with the interest rate of dash for the first quarter of fiscal year twenty five. So it is at six point nine percent. Next in March, Prabowo Subianto was elected as the president of which country? He was elected as the president of Indonesia, and he is scheduled to become the eighth president of Indonesia. and he will succeed whom he will be succeeding joko widodo next which of the following organizations along with bill and melinda gates foundation have recently pledged nearly 600 million dollar towards eliminating cervical cancer so which of the following organization it is world bank and unicef correct these two organization they along with bill and melinda gates foundation they have pledged nearly 600 million dollar for eliminating cervical cancer and the funding includes 400 million dollar over 3 years by world bank and the rest 180 billion dollar uh, 180 million dollar from the bill and melinda gates foundation next which country central bank has recently signed an mou with rbi to promote the use of local currencies of both countries so bank of indonesia and india's uh, central bank of indonesia and reserve bank of india these two organization they collaborated together and they signed an mou where they will be promoting the use of the local currencies of both these countries in order to enhance the trade between them so indonesian rupiah that is idr and inr that is indian rupees the trade between these two local currencies will be announced under this collaboration next who has been recently named for the prixer architecture prize 2024 so raiken yamamoto of japan right he has been named as the uh, named for the prixer architecture prize this prixer Archite architecture prize is the highest honor given in the field of architecture and raiken yamamoto he became the 53rd laureate to be honored with prixer architecture prize and the 9th japanese architecture to win this prize this prize includes a cash Price of one hundred thousand US dollar and a bronze medallion. Next, in March, Vadodara Municipal Corporation, that is a civic body of Gujarat, has raised dash amount by issuing Asia's first certified green municipal bond for sustainable water infrastructure. So, Vadodara Municipal Corporation, that is the civic body of Gujarat, it has raised how much amount? It raised hundred crore rupees. It raised hundred crore rupees by issuing Asia's first certified green municipal bond for sustainable water infrastructure, right? And here, the coupon rate or the interest rate that will be provided here will be of seven point nine percent. 
नेक्स्ट विद स्टेट गवर्नमेंट हैज रिसेंटली लॉन्च इंडियाज फर्स्ट गवर्नमेंट ओन्ड ओ टी टी प्लेटफॉर्म सी स्पेस एंड वी हैव डिस्कस दिस मल्टीपल टाइम्स दिस सी स्पेस ऑफ विद स्टेट इट इज ऑफ केरला केरला ओन्स दिस फर्स्ट ओ टी टी प्लेटफॉर्म सी स्पेस ओ टी टी प्लेटफॉर्म आर सच एज योर नेटफ्लिक्स योर एमेजॉन प्राइम राइट एंड सो ऑन करेक्ट एंड इट इज योर केरला स्टेट फिल्म डेवलपमेंट कॉरपोरेशन दैट ओन्स दिस सी स्पेस हु इज द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ केरला पिनरई विजयन नेक्स्ट विच कंट्री हैज रिसेंटली ज्वाइंट नेटो एज एन अलायंस करेक्ट एज देयर थर्टी सेकेंड मेंबर सो नेटो विच कंट्री बिकेम द थर्टी सेकेंड मेंबर ऑफ नेटो इट इज स्वीडन स्वीडन बिकेम थर्टी सेकेंड मेंबर ऑफ नेटो नॉर्थ अटलांटिक ट्रीटी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नेक्स्ट हाउ मेनी विनर्स हैव रिसेंटली वन फर्स्ट नेशनल क्रिएटर्स अवार्ड प्रेजेंटेड बाय प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया नरेंद्र मोदी इन मार्च सो अ टोटल ऑफ ट्वेंटी थ्री क्रिएटर्स वॉज अवॉर्डेड विद द नेशनल क्रिएटर्स अवार्ड दैट वॉज द फर्स्ट एवर एडिशन और वी कैन से द इनग्रल एडिशन ऑफ द नेशनल क्रिएटर्स अवार्ड राइट देर वर ट्वेंटी थ्री विनर्स थ्री वर इंटरनेशनल विनर्स राइट एंड ट्वेंटी इन ट्वेंटी कैटेगरीज दे वर अवॉर्डेड द इवेंट फॉर दिस वेयर वॉज दिस हेल्ड एट भारत मंडपम दैट इज इन न्यू डेली नेक्स्ट इन मार्च कैबिनेट कमिटी ऑन सिक्योरिटी अप्रूव फंड्स वर्थ हाउ मच अमाउंट फॉर एन इंडिजीनियस फिफ्थ जनरेशन एडवांस मीडियम कॉम्बैक एयरक्राफ्ट फाइटर जेट प्रोजेक्ट फॉर द इंडियन आर्मी सो सी सी एस अप्रूव द फंड वर्थ फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड करोड़ रुपीज आन इट इज फॉर इंडिजीनियस फिफ्थ जनरेशन एडवांस मीडियम कॉम्बैक एयरक्राफ्ट फाइटर जेट फॉर द इंडियन एयरफोर्स राइट एंड ए एम सी ए दैट इज एडवांस मीडियम कॉम्बैक एयरक्राफ्ट करेक्ट दे दिस प्रोजेक्ट एम्स टू डेवलप फर्स्ट फाइव प्रोटोटाइप्स ओवर द नेक्स्ट फाइव ईयर्स दैट इज बाय ट्वेंटी थर्टी विद फर्स्ट प्रोटोटाइप ऑफ दिस ए एम सी ए दैट विल बी रोलिंग आउट इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सिक्स दैट्स ऑल फॉर द डे फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू एंजॉय द सेशन एंड यू कैन फॉलो अस ऑन द यूट्यूब चैनल एज वेल एज अपार्ट फ्रॉम यूट्यूब चैनल यू कैन गो एंड फॉलो अस एट अफेयर्स क्लाउड टेलीग्राम चैनल एंड इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरीज रिलेटेड टू द कंटेंट और द of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 7677333862 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official also students you can use code vikas10 that will give you extra 10% discount on the courses that you will purchase